Look. Good morning. Another camping trip started. This is McNess Road. Uh, leads from Araluan uh, out towards Canning Dam or past Canning Dam towards Albany Highway. I've got uh, my good mate Morrie and his son Luke behind me. Luke's on a TTR 250 Yamaha. Murray's on an SWM 450. Um, don't quite recall the model, but it's a scrambler looking thing. Um, sort of old style, nice and low seat height, and uh, reasonably capable off road as long as you don't go over anything too uh, too big. And uh, it does what it needs to do. So today we're going to um, follow on this road a little bit. Um, I'm still getting used to the weight of all the luggage on the back because uh, this is going to be a six day trip. And um, it always takes me uh, a little while to get used to the additional weight and just, you know, trying to flick the bike over a little bit sooner than what I'm ready for. But anyway, we're heading um, towards Dwelling Up today um, with these guys and then they're going to turn around and head back and then I'm going to carry on south. I'm uh, aiming towards the south coast of Western Australia, a little place called Bow Bridge, um, where I'm going to uh, then head back towards Perth. Um, I, I'm expecting the Bow Bridge section to take me at least two days, maybe three, and um, and then I'll spend a couple of days heading back up towards uh, towards home. So it's probably about 8:30 in the morning on a uh, Sunday morning. It's quite windy um, and quite cool, but because it's quite windy, it probably means it's going to be pretty hot today. So I think we're expecting mid 30s and. Uh, yeah, so this wind will settle down pretty soon and uh, and then it'll uh, start getting warm. But anyway, as long as I keep moving, I'll be fine. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's the same spot too. Same spot. <laughs> He's going. He's getting, yeah, he's going to get there, yeah. Yeah, we had trouble with this hill last time we come up here. Oh, Luke on the TTR has got uh, really road oriented tyres, so it really struggles in this stuff. And Murray will struggle too, I think. I managed to get up there first go, which was nice. And then I've got to come around, come back and park in exactly the same spot as I did last time when we uh, hit this hill. That's it. Well, that's the hardest part. Good as gold. Right, now all we've got to do is turn around.
right onwards. We just left Jared up. We're on um, Scarp Road, which is uh, taking us towards uh, North Antelope Dam, I think it is. Eventually we'll get there and then we um, cut through to uh, a little bit squirrely. Um, yeah, we cut through to uh, Dwelling Up. This front tire still not giving me a great deal of confidence, but this stuff is quite loose. It's a little bit difficult to see what's going on with all these shadows across the track as well. Whoa. How are you going? It's all right, I'm just waiting on some people. <laughs> right, so we just had a quick breather at North Dandelop. North Dandelop Dam. It is windy, holy dooly. Couldn't stay there that long, I was about to blow the hair off my head. So, uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we're gonna carry on to drilling up for a bit of lunch. And then the boys are gonna head back home and I'm going to spear off on my uh, on my own. So there's a little bit of dirt left before we get to dwelling up. I might just uh, take the direct road because uh, these guys have got other things to do. So I did have a route plan that was going to take us onto more dirt before that. Um, but I think we'll just uh, cut straight through and then um, they can do what they need to do. All right. Part ways. Just had lunch. Murray on his uh, silver vase 440 SWM. Bloody great looking little bike that is. Low seat height. And Luke on his TTR. And they're heading home. As you can see, popular place for bikes. And uh, <laughs> we're going in different directions. So they're heading home. I'm heading bush. See you boys. We're going to head down Nanga Road. I've been that way plenty of times and you would have seen it in one of my other videos. But um, I'm going to have a look and see if I can find the turn off to the um, Captain Fawcett track. Last time I wanted to go down there, it was uh, the road was closed. Um, it's completely uh, in a different direction to the way that I was going to go today, but the way that I was going to go, the first part of it, I've done it plenty of times, and I, was, I really enjoy it. It's a fast dirt road, which is um, I really enjoy doing. Um, but I thought, you know what, if I can find this uh, Captain Fawcett and I can get on it, um, it'll take me a couple of hours into the bush, and I think it comes out somewhere near... Uh, place called Queen Danning I'm not sure but anyway I, if I come out the back of that then I will find my way south and um, it'll be something different and uh, you know I'm in no rush I'm on no time limit I've got days and days ahead of me so I can take as long as I like so we'll have a look at that if I don't find it well then I'll just carry on and uh, stick to plan A I'll let you know if we make it found my way onto a uh, random dirt track force the track is closed so um, not really able to use that one but um, I've sort of explored a bit and linked up with some other dirt tracks that have linked me onto this one so uh, it's sort of heading over in the direction that I want to go and I'll just um, follow it and see where it goes this is clearly a four-wheel drive track because you can see where the guys have been um, going through a few uh, bogs and that sort of thing there's a few offshoot tracks coming off towards the river which um, seem um, pretty uh, hairy and I, I went and had a look down one um, got to a point where I thought yeah I'm by myself I'm not climbing down that uh, because I might be able to climb back up so I um, decided I would leave that one but anyway I'm just going to follow this track and I really don't know where it's going to go so um, I um, have got 
plenty of hours of daylight left. Um, GPS has sort of found some sort of a road for me, but I'm just going to keep going the way I'm going and see what happens. So um, I'll get back to you. But I'm enjoying myself. It's quite warm. Um, the wind has either stopped or it's not reaching us here. Uh, when I left the uh, dwelling up, it was still quite windy. That would have been about one-ish. And um, doesn't seem to be making it through to even the top of the forest here, so I'm going to assume it's stopped. And uh, while I'm moving, I've got a little bit of cooling, but uh, I imagine if I pulled up, um, I'd be feeling it. So, uh, but we're all good. I've got plenty of water, so um, I've got enough to get me through to wherever I wherever I end up anyway. All right, I'll come back to you if something interesting happens. So I've been spat out onto uh, this road called Driver Road. Um, I don't know. It's going to take me back to Nanga Road, which I didn't really want to go that way, so I might, I might just head off into the bush again. What the hell? Oh, I can see one of the legs of my little thing stuck out. My uh, tripod. There you go, mate. You're all good. Everything else is secure. It's quite a bumpy track. Oh, my bag's hanging out. Better fix that up. I'll come back to you. I might find some shade first. I was just uh, turning around and I turned around to check my luggage and uh, look at that. My food bag come adrift so I come out of the Oki straps here which I'm using because I don't have proper rock straps but luckily I was using this cargo net here um, so that's basically saved my lunch <laughs> literally so um, I'm going to secure this um, spend a bit more time with these things and just make sure that they uh, hold it all in properly and then uh, I'll be uh, good to go and I'm going to carry on up this track because the map that I've got basically sends me towards um, uh, Harvey which is where I ultimately want to go but I don't want to get there too soon so I'm just going to see where this takes me and hopefully it takes me somewhere interesting so anyway I'll get this sorted and we'll get back on the track right luggage has been resecured or well, my lunch has been resecured more importantly actually my dinner and my breakfast and then my dinner and my breakfast anyway uh, we're back on the road I'm pretty much just going to follow my nose for the next hour or two I'm gonna keep spearing in this direction which is like east um, just to get me a bit further inland and I'm gonna see where it takes me and uh, I've got the GPS set that that'll keep trying to take me to Harvey so um, it'll keep linking up tracks as I go and it's you know gonna tell me to turn in a few minutes um, but I'll, I can see the road keeps going so I'm just going to continue on and it'll reset and reset so eventually it'll still get me there unless I find somewhere more interesting or better um, the only thing I really need is I've sort of got enough water to last me um, if I decided to stop right here right now and camp but I do have a couple of water bottles which um, I've kept empty just for the weight saving um, which is about another litre and a half in total um, that I would like to fill up and take to camp so then I've got plenty of water to make coffees cooking that sort of thing um, on top of my well, I guess you call you know survival water I suppose which is the water that I need to make sure I'm healthy and got enough just in case anything happens but anyway if I do come across like a really nice river or something I'd really like to just camp at well then maybe I'll just do that but so far um, everything's going well besides my uh, lunch bag trying to jump off
could have probably planned that a little bit better. Come on, baby. At least it didn't go down. Getting moving is going to be tricky. Actually, I might even just head back down. Maybe I can get up. Stuff is so soft and so loose. But I really don't want to drop the bike because it's so heavy. Okay, I think what we'll try is uh, see if we can walk her up this bit. You go, girl. Right. Adventure. All right, now we climb this hill. now it's not getting any better just had a quick drink of water Right, now we go down, which is uh, sometimes just as interesting as trying to get up. I don't know we need any trails that are marked on the map here, but... Clearly there's something here. <clears throat> Spider web, thank you. Hopefully there's not a spider attached to it. Ew. Yeah, I got a bit of stick hanging on a bit of spider web right in front of my visor. Which I'll peel off right now. Thank you. Get out. Spider web. Spider web. All right. Down we go. It's 
really loose. In fact, I might go three points of contact here. Just because I'm trying to not wash out the front. I've got a very light finger on the front brake. And here we go, we're away. Oh, another spider, thank you. That was attached to the web. So if the next bit of video is me running through the bush with no clothes on, you'll know there's a spider on me somewhere. I've come out on Logebrook Road. So I'm going to make an assumption that's going to take me somewhere Oh, it's actually taking me to Lowbrook Road, so that might take me past Lowbrook Dam, which would be really pretty nice. I wouldn't be against that, so um, <coughs> they've got a um, pad foot roller back there, so uh, they've been maintaining this road. Must have graded it as well, I think, because it's um, pretty loose on the top, but it's okay. pretty soft. I just got to uh, be careful and watch my pace. Yeah, so they've definitely been grading this or rolling it or one of the two, which is uh, pretty rugged. little bit of a change of heart. I uh, started looping it back, back around and uh, ended up on Lowbrook Road. Voice is loose. Um, yeah, heading back towards uh, Harvey and uh, I sort of realised that I'm Sort of all the way over this way and now I'm heading back towards the coast and I'm going to go to Harvey and then I'm probably going to end up coming back this way in the morning anyway. So I thought, what the hell, I'm just going to turn left and uh, just uh, see where I end up. These, these roads pretty much get me down into the Collie area and uh, I don't exactly remember how to get there and I've turned the GPS off so I'm just going to be... Um, Doing it the old-fashioned way. So as long as I can get somewhere, I've got plenty of fuel. I've got 200, not 250 k's worth of fuel on. So um, as long as I get to Collie um, or somewhere I can get some water, well then from there I can settle in. I think it's about two o'clock or something like that. So plenty of time to get where I'm going which is nowhere in particular, <laughs> so in fact I'm already there. Anyway, well, some of these bits of road uh, are a little bit tricky but um, it's loose in some spots and good in others. Status update. Um, I've ended up in uh, farming country and uh, I sort of thought I was heading towards uh, Queen Downing. Turns out I am. I'm only a couple of minutes out, so that's great. So um, I'm going to head in there. I might even have a quiet little beer and uh, decide what I'm going to do next. Um, I as much as I'd like to go down this way, I think this is going to be mostly all just bitumen because these are all farms and, and uh, there's not going to be any sort of dirt roads or anything like that. So maybe I need to head back in towards the forest type stuff and and uh, go that way. But anyway, we'll um, see what happens. But the very first thing, I'll uh, head into Quindanning and see what's there. <laughs> Make a plan. Right. I've just 
just had a beer at uh, Queen Denning. Carlton Zero. It was actually pretty nice. I thought uh, I'd try a zero alcohol beer just for because um, I'm not really a fan of drinking and riding, so um, even one is usually one too many. So um, that was good. But have a look at this place. It's uh, like a little oasis. Nice old pub. Lots of nice grass. There's a combination here. Jiranillan. Small town. Classic Land Cruiser. What well, looks like it used to be a shop. I don't know where it still is. Phone box. Oh, there you go little shop there, probably a general store, yeah it looks like it does everything, it's and Australia Post, well there you go, that's Durinillum for you, well we got an old house, jeez, okay, so I guess we carry on to, I'm going to say Kojana, What have we got here? So I could turn off to Cully. I've done that a few times before. Where else is there? Bowelling, never heard of that. Moody Europe, I think it was. We'll continue on and have a look at that place. So this is Lake Tower Inny. This is my campsite. I'm over the back. It's quite a big place, quite a lot of space, and a lot of boats up along here. So um, if you look up along this way, you can see all these people. They're all on camp along the waterfront, and I'm assuming most of those have got ski boats. But it's quite a tranquil place. It's a little bit breezy tonight, so it's actually quite cool. So I've had to bust out the photo. But it's got some new fresh water because they've got some filtered water over there. Um, to replace the water I got from the servo um, in Dinning Up, I think it was. Um, one of those places, anyway. Um, that water was a bit, how's your father, out of the servo tap. So uh, I've replaced that. But anyway, I've settled in for the night, so uh, I've just got to find myself a little sheltered place where I can cook some food and um, should be right for dinner. Uh, I've got my little light set up there, that's why I moved the bike over there so I can hang the light off it. This is the um, Lucy. Lucy's solar powered light, and uh, all I'm doing is I'm just turning that off the uh, handlebar. And uh, now I'll flick it on, I'm gonna go through a bunch of colours before it actually hits white. There we go, and that's pulsing on the video, but it doesn't actually pulse in real life. Um, anyway, it's not very bright here, but it actually throws out enough light for a campsite at night, so I'm really happy with this thing. Um, I'll definitely take it with me, and if I feel like having bit of a disco and that does have a colour changing mode as well so you know just in case they want to put something on for the ladies or not anyway that's it for me I think um, I'm going to um, start getting ready to cook a bit of food I've got a little a couple little pork steaks over there just warming up um, and I've got a little bit of salad in the bag I've got a fry pan here and my cooker and that sort of thing so um, I'll chuck that in soon and have a feed and I've got a beer left so I might be able to crack onto that later on and um, that's about it so peace out well it's windy as buggery tonight so what I've done is I've set myself up just in the doorway of my tent the wind's coming from behind me and um, I'm just going to cook my dinner right here so fry pan let that warm up got some little pork steaks here We've got some salad just over there, and um, it should be pretty delicious. I forgot the butter though, so um, you know, that's the way it goes.
front. These look pretty good to me. Check that out. Skip them onto my little plate of potato salad. Thank you to Vicky's mum for making that. Turn this gas off. Get this thing out of the way. Then I'm ready to eat. So, uh, that's it.